Now, you are an occupational therapist, mm -hmm. but you also are a yoga instructor, yes. your other passion. And when Heather was in Sierra Leone, she shared that passion of yoga with some young people, many still recovering from trauma experienced during the war. He was a child soldier fighting during the height of Sierra Leone's brutal civil war. It was like full of tension, you know. Yeah, that was the way my life was like before. T-Man, now in his late 20s, joined the army when he was 17 after watching his father die at the hands of rebels. After the fighting ended, the painful memories lingered. Then he discovered this. And exhale, we mail the arm down slowly. Most of us who do this yoga, we are just from the war, full of trauma. A few years ago, a visiting grad student studying trauma in post-war societies introduced T-Man and some of his friends to yoga. So we could live it if we don't have much. It helps us like release our stress, it gives us healthy lifestyle. The researcher moved on, but T-Man continued on, introducing other young men to the practice. Canadian yoga instructor Heather Weaver discovered the group last summer. She now helps with technique and brought in some new equipment. Sierra Leonean youth uh, don't necessarily have coping mechanisms to deal with difficult situations and so they sometimes act out with anger or they might get into substance abuse and I think what yoga is offering is a chance to breathe and relax. Class sizes have almost tripled since Weaver first arrived. Sessions are held in a room at the Freetown Stadium, which served as a refugee camp during the war. Despite the tight squeeze, everyone shows up. Excellent. Stadium officials have agreed to rent a much larger space to the yoga group for free, but it hasn't been used since the war and it's in very rough shape. These are bullet wounds. The the here. A room scarred with reminders of a time many are desperate to forget, soon to be transformed into a place of peace. Funds are being raised for the renovation, and T-Man is heading to Kenya on a scholarship to become a registered instructor. It makes me feel good at all times. At all times, I really feel good in doing my practice. An exercise in healing and a chance at a better, more peaceful life. Jamie Dahl, Global News, Freetown. Is it, does it give you goosebumps to see those faces again? <laughs> How is T-Man? So T-Man was given a scholarship to go study yoga in Kenya. And he went and he did his first level training. And they loved him so much, they brought him back for his second. So he actually is a higher qualified instructor than I am now. <laughs> he, he has his 500 hour certification, which is really <laughs> impressive. Um, T-Man, so at the time we were raising, we were about to launch a crowdsourcing website to raise money and uh, to renovate this, this studio. And we raised um, about two and a half thousand dollars, which we ended up using to rent a space. Um, we actually didn't um, use that particular space because it had so much damage and it was really, you know, we were concerned it was going to take too long. So we went for another space, re rented it for four years. The guys um, painted it and unfortunately I am preserved on the walls in <laughs> Sierra Leone in Utkatasana, fierce position for the rest of <laughs> eternity. Um, but, so they renovated the space and then we used some of the remainder of the money to get them business training because their dream was to make it a social enterprise. Uh, a lot of these youth really struggled with getting jobs and that was because they, they had almost no education. They were um, teenagers during the war and had never gone back to school. So the idea was that the yoga studio would uh, create jobs for them, but also they would use that as an opportunity to do outreach into the commu community. That is incredible. That's so incredible. When we went for the shoot, mm -hmm. it was jammed in there, yeah. and it, was, it felt like it was Bikram yoga, really, because it yeah. was so hot. And, you know, some people complain that someone's yoga mat's touching theirs, but in there, there they were sharing yoga mats, yeah. and there was like a, fa a foot, you know, this close to their face. Yeah. And they had their kids in there, and they were so, yeah. so passionate about this. Yeah. 
Can you imagine people pay like $20 to do Bikram yoga and they can come to <laughs> Sierra Leone and do it for free? <laughs> it, it does get very hot. Um, but they just, they're so enthusiastic about it. And what's exciting is that um, in that area, so we are in the stadium and there is a lot of sports, but then around the stadium, there's a lot of gangs. And this provided an alternative, a free alternative of something to do for gang members, and they really became interested in it. And as T Man said, you know, it, it relaxes him and it brings him joy. And one of his classic moves in a yoga class is he'll get them to yell out, you know, what they're feeling. And, and so you'll hear joy, love, peace, and they get so excited. <laughs> you know, can you imagine doing that class here? People yelling out. Downward dog. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Yeah, exactly.